Outstanding, the ultimate accolade for teachers. We challenge secondary teacher Gerprit Gruhl to go from good to outstanding. A top inspector will observe one lesson. Two experts will fine-tune his practice and beef up his presentation. He then gets two weeks to take on the advice before the inspector comes back for the final verdict. I know that if I want to get from good to outstanding, I'm going to have to step out of my comfort zone and just try out some of the things that maybe don't come as naturally to me as a, as a person. Now, tiny little bit less, but to really show you like what they did. Brilliant, really, really, really well done. Okay, now what I notice is you drop, you drop it. It doesn't really look that I've, it's not very genuine. It doesn't look genuine. So keep your hands up and okay. just hold it a tiny bit longer that it actually reaches the person, okay. yeah? Mm. Once more. Really well done, I really like that. Fantastic, good. Can you feel? Now it hangs in the air and it reaches the other person. Yeah. That was a really good piece of work. I really like what you've done there. Well done. Super. The pace was really nice at the end. Well done. You gave mm. it time. That was great. I, I know that if I want to get from good to, to outstanding, I'm going to have to step out of my comfort zone a little bit and just try out some of the things that maybe don't come as naturally to me as a, as a person. Your learning outcomes are on the board here. So, can you start making a note of those? So, with Gerprit's final observation just weeks away, it's back to the classroom to put all that advice into action and raise his game. Three, two, one, and listening. I've got a couple of things here, electric kettle. Let's turn it upside down, and there is some information about the electric kettle there. It was interesting. I, mean, I was trying out some of the things I picked up on Monday. Excellent. It does have something to do with the energy. Absolutely right. I, mean, I, I felt myself being more mobile around the room. Let's see if someone else can explain it just as well as you did. I'm trying to use my arms a bit more and be as positive as possible. Well done, Sim. Very, very well remembered. The fact that I've linked what grade each learning objective um, goes with. I think they've, they've really liked that because it makes them much, much clearer. They kind of know where they Coming stand. Back and looking at these things now. Imagine BJ went home, she picked up her TV. Okay, just to find oh, big TV. Where's the power rating on this? It comes to this particular learning outcome, you're definitely there. One of the interesting challenges, I suppose, is going to be kids are so used to seeing me as I am. Um, any kind of dramatic changes, they're going to be a little bit sort of suspect of, I suppose. But um, I think it will take take time. Gerprit and Head of Science Rob Laird look back at last week's observation. Looking back at it, um, I did appear to be a little bit stiff, a little bit um, kind of you know, not very mobile. I, think I agree with you. Um, those kids were bored. You know your students well. You have good relationships with your students, yeah. but watching the entry, was that evident? It might have been something as simple as, you know, you're looking um, good today or you're looking tired today or <laughs> just, just a warmer kind or of... Um, you had a good match or mm. Year 10 have thrashed King Solomons last week. You mm. could have perhaps mentioned that and then you would have had that interaction with the students. Good morning. You're looking good? No tests. No tests. Now I'd just like to go through the three points with you very quickly. Field lines being cut. A voltage being induced. Is this stuff that you're familiar with, Mohammed? Have you heard of these terms before? No, sir. So these will need explaining. Yeah. Here's a magnet. Let's see how strong this is. And yep, yeah, it can pick those scissors up, no problem. You saw how strong that magnet was, yeah? Here's another magnet. It's a bit heavier. Now, how strong is this? Wow. <laughs> Yes, it's definitely stronger. <laughs> it's much larger. And for those of you still thinking about careers and what to do after school, you can go and work in a power station doing this kind of job, making electricity. <laughs> That's what they do. That's how they make electricity. Thank you, thank you. Calm down a bit. You know, that's not the way it works. It's a lot more complicated. I think the, the six-part lesson is something I still need to kind of perfect. 
Um, the, the lesson I've just taught, there were elements of the six part are in there, of the learning objectives and the start of the demonstration. We've just spend three or four minutes looking at the diagram, but I think it really needed them doing something themselves rather than sort of, you know, reading through the book. I mean, thinking back over the last few weeks, I think it has been pretty hard. Just thinking back to what Jigna said, she was talking about students being trained to learn in a certain way. And that doesn't happen overnight, that does take time. Now this bit is the bit where we're looking at how well we're going to work as a team. It's the last practice lesson before his final observation, and Gurpreet encourages his students to work more independently. Like, yeah. no, 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 no. Should it be on the lid? Like, you know, like a mascara, how you have it, it comes out of the lid. So, like, should you do that and then just. No, you should put that little sachet in and squeeze it in. The, the other point number three in particular, you've got to be able to explain what the numbers are all about. <laughs> the good thing was, I think, that there's a large a chunk of what they learnt, which didn't come from me, it came from themselves looking at the information on the, the bottles of sun cream, looking at the books, looking at the table, and then kind of putting their own kind of creative touch to it. To start with you. Ready? Yeah. There are many advantages and disadvantages for this product. Sun cream protects you from getting skin cancer and burnt and blistered skin. You can buy this product for £6.25, which is a small price for the big one you can pay without it. Very, very good. Hi, Jigna. How are you? I'm not bad. With Judgment you? Day looming, Gurpreet gets some last minute advice from Jigna Sarani. I did a nice lesson today. I had them kind of design a radio script, basically. The, the only thing I've yet to maybe, you know, kind of try and refine is the timing. When you put that creative element in, it does take a little bit longer. Partly that is because it's a new style of teaching, getting them into that habit of it being a little bit more hands-on. And it takes time to sort of build that. But I think it's really important that they do leave your lesson having learned something. Mm. Um, and even if that means that they only learn maybe two out of the three things that you want covered. Yeah, so if you've got four or five um, objectives, just time to sort of focus into maybe two of them. Mm. Um, yeah, OK. okay. All right, then. Thanks for your advice. OK, good okay, luck. See Bye. You. Bye. I think every, every time I interact with a child, I'm thinking, right, OK, you're going to be leaving this school one day, you're going to be going out into the big wide world. And the qualifications that you leave with, your attitude, the way you conduct yourself, that's what everyone's going to judge you on. And I'm in a position here where I can influence all those things. Um, and I, I, I don't take that lightly at all. The day of Gurpreet's final observation has arrived. I've got my sort of learning outcome sorted out and I've got my activity sorted out. Um, I suppose a little bit more nervous than I was for the first observation because I suppose more is expected of you now than it was the first time round. Claire Gillies is back and it's crunch time. With all that expert advice and weeks of practice, will Gurpreet have made it from good to outstanding? So, setting down so quickly. Um, I would like you to have a look at the words which are scrambled up at the moment at the bottom there and see if you can sort them out into three words which you should be familiar with from last lesson. OK? Well done. Your book's open, your book's open, your book's open, your book's open. You're writing away. That's good. It's good. <laughs> Hands up, please, for the first one. And the answer was, Salim? Ultraviolet. Ultra Today's lesson... We're going to take those ideas that we learnt about last lesson and just kind of take it one step further. OK, let's look at the learning outcomes for today. The first one, learning these words, absorb, reflect and transmit. And then the second one, if you've understood everything up to that point in the lesson, you will then be able to write a newspaper article yourselves aimed at students your age. <coughs> OK. This is simply <clears throat> a green coloured liquid. Okay, it's just got water and sort of green food colouring in it. And on the diagram, you can see what's happening. In your books, I want you to write a definition for absorb, reflect, and transmit. Five minutes starting now. It's kind of like when it's bounced off. Perfect. Yeah, there's a definition right there. And then, and then I can explain transmit. 
and trans well you just you just did you just explained it transmit is when okay now you've got it goes in and out yeah it goes in and comes out the other side a bit more confidence in you know what your initial thoughts are i was absolutely right okay just before we go over these three terms i've given everyone a filter okay now when i look through a particular filter so take this one the red one i'm holding up now everything appears to be what color Red. What word do we use to talk about this kind of idea? So, I think this lesson was more interactive than last lesson and we saw a lot more experiments, especially with the globe, when we covered it with newspaper. But what's a newspaper supposed to represent? It's meant to be like a filter. Good. And what is the name we give to the filter that surrounds the earth? It has a special name. Am I? It's called the atmosphere. Can you stick your hand up, please, if you've heard of this term, the ozone layer? Part of your task now is to find exactly what it does, you know, what it protects you from, what does it stop. <clears throat> you will have enough information to use to write your own newspaper article. Okay? Write your answers in your exercise book, off you go. The amount of information on that, it just mentions it briefly somewhere. A sentence which tells you what element ozone is actually made up of. I do like to be challenged within a lesson and I feel that his lessons are challenging to a certain extent, but not as challenging as I would like. The mayor actually yeah. does. Yeah, what does it protect us from? It's harmful. We get more UV rays taking us. Why is that bad? It becomes cancerous, OK? Really good. With only 10 minutes to go, Gurpri decides to change his second learning objective into the homework task. I'm not going to ask you to do the newspaper article in the lesson. I'm going to set you that to do for homework. The greatest challenge in lessons is it's, it's probably been just thinking about the structure and the timing. The problem is just making sure that things don't overrun. Okay, one thing you have to do before you go, put your stools up. Well, thank you very much for letting me um, join in this, this lesson again. And I felt there was much more warmth um, at the beginning of the lesson. You, yeah. you seemed really pleased to see them. That was great. I thought that the, the, the green tube was, was great because it matched on the board and that was just wonderful. If we look at the learning outcomes, I think we could define the terms reflect, absorb and transmit. Mm. But I'd suggest with this, some bright sparks in this group mm. that we sh perhaps should have just got on to why the sun reflect and absorb just a little bit more sophisticated for some of them. And then on the second one about explaining the Earth depends on the ozone layer and how humans, I don't think we've got there yet. And I'm going to be quite ruthless and say, I don't think they learnt enough. Possibly um, with this, you should have expected them to each be able to feed back the answer to one question and say, I'm going to ask each pair or each three or something to, to read back a specific clear answer to those questions. So we did at least all of us mm. by the end of the lesson get to the articles, but mm. maybe the, the amount they had to read in the time was a bit long. Mm. Perhaps consider less to read, a bit more selective. So that yeah, they've got a sense of responsibility that, that I've mm. got to do the work because I'm going to have to then feed it back to the rest of the class or something mm. like that. Mm. Anyway, thank you very much for letting me join in that lesson again. What I need to work on is motivating the kids to try and work on their own and at the end of lessons, just tightening up the feedback that I get in the plenary. I suppose it's just kind of, uh, just trying to make sure that I do do all the things that have to be done more consistently. And I suppose that comes with time. <laughs>